Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today we are doing podcast number two of the series. Tonight we are talking tall tales. So tonight I have Andy with me on my left hand side. I have myself in the middle at the top. I have Fallout next to me on the right. I have Jacko down at the bottom and I also have Russell down at the bottom. And we're going to have a discussion about the tall tales on the Sea of Thieves. So I hope you enjoy. First question from me is favourite tall tales. Anybody mm. can chip in as and when they feel. Uh, my, mine's probably Gold Horde of the last one. That's one of my favourite, the Gold Curse. Gold. Any particular reason why? It's just very simple to do, very linear. There's no messing around with different islands. It's straight in, straight out, really, for me. Very simple, very easy to do. Nothing changes. Okay. Jacko, you were going to say something? For me, it's a hard one because they are really actually some good totals. They are, if I really need to um, say something, I would say Wild Rose. Because that story ending is just a good one. Like she said in, in the end, I can't do this. Come on. If Rose was here, she would do this for you. I need to brave up and so on. Help a friend. So, just that. Mostly at the end, that story beats just always got me. Okay. Russell, anything from you? I think my favorite tall tale has to be the last one from The Pirate's Life. I like the action. I like the score, the music. The dialogue is really good. Um... Especially like at the end when you're climbing the uh, the spire, mm. and you see Cutler Beckett at the top, and you're just like, oh, "Why is he here?" Yeah. So, I, I kind of it kind of leaves me a little hopeful that they might do some more parts of the Caribbean themed content. I know that a lot of people had some mixed opinions about it, but I I would like to see more of of parts of the Caribbean content. Yeah, I think I'd agree. Fallout, anything from you? It's a tough one. The best one, I mean, I, I like the uh, Fate of the Morning Star. Only because it's like condensed, if you pick the right island, you know, you can follow the paths. And yeah, I, I'm hoping that they make more tall tales, but maybe put them in the Sea of the Dams, maybe, you know. Because we see a lot of that at the minute. It would be nice for them to you know, use that. But going on that fact, there's so many things in the Tall Tales, like the Shores of Gold Island. Mm. Why is it used more, if you know what I mean? Why is it just used for one Tall Tale? There's so much more they could do with it, I think. I, think. You know? mm. I think from my point of view, my favourite, I kind of have two, which shouldn't really have two, but I do have two. Uh, Shores of Gold, definitely one. And second one being Wild Rose. Just really liked the romancy side of that. Probably because I'm a bit of a romance fanatic, let's be honest. But I quite liked Wild Rose. And I just liked the dancing bit of it as well. Even though it was a bugger to work out to start with. But it's just one of those things. I did like Wild Rose as well. It, it, it did have nice twist to all the other tall tales were quite action packed that one's a lot more you said a lot more lovey dovey it's mm. actually more softer side to the pirates yeah. So, yeah. yeah and and that thing is when the first time i did it i did it solo it's like you don't expect that action part at the ending it's like oh you're going to get this or so and it's like all of a sudden hello mm. it's a boss it's and the reason it. why she's there like okay that came out of nowhere, and yeah. it was enjoyable. Mm. It's almost like a skeleton jumping out at you going, Hi! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so, we've talked about the favourite tall tale. What's the worst tall tale of the original nine, let's say? And if you want to include Pirate's Life, you can. The one you mm. killed, Brexy. It's my least favourite. Uh, that one Second tall tale, the curse of... Um, yeah, the tall oh. tale. I, I'm exactly the same with you, I'm Jacko. That, that one, how many different places you go, it boggled my head the first couple of times I did it. it second one. We on about the second one? Yeah, the second the second, second tall tale after first nine. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, okay. 
A curse um, rogue or something like that. Oh yeah, cursed rogue. Yeah. Okay. And the main reason is is just too much sailing. Mostly the in part you give the. I remember what it is at the end at um on the outpost, and then you have to go sail and to fight Brixie. Mm. Those who don't know the map that well, Flandre Outpost is on the most southwestern part of the map. Then you have, maybe have to go to Kraken's Fall or Smuggler's Bay, that's literally on the other side of the map, and the wind is against you. Yeah. Main reason because you feel you lose interest in that fight. Like, yeah. are we there yet? I have a feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I think I said, are we there yet a few times. <clears throat> Yeah, but the victory height one was easy because we claimed the. Bomb. Well, yeah, but we used mermaid sticks. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point is the Brixie fight is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, uh, the fight isn't the sorry. The fight no, isn't thought... the issue for me. It's the sailing to it and yeah, that's true. the interest. Well, from one end of the map sailing. to the other. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're against wind, like you said. I hate being against wind. It's very, very, very annoying. Especially if you're in a galley and you, <laughs> you don't even move yeah. at all. You move like a centimetre a, a minute. Um, but go on. No, I was just going to say, my worst tall tale, Fallout knows what I'm going to say, but legendary storyteller, I didn't get it. I looked at all the pictures, I didn't get it, didn't have a clue what was going on. Maybe that's just my brain not getting it, but I just feel like there should have been more info in the book itself. Like, for yeah. me, looking at those pictures, as someone that doesn't know all the islands very well, I didn't have a clue. Yeah, I, I was like, it's like the same when I, not unless you actually know pretty much the major points on each island, you're lost. Yeah. First time I did, I'm thinking, I don't know anything. Mm. I don't, I've never even started the game properly. I don't know where the hell I'm going yet. Yeah. But yeah. They did, especially each time you did it, it changed no matter what you would, it wasn't the same. So, yeah. you're lost. <laughs> yeah, I was lost throughout, as Fallout will tell you. I think my least favorite was probably the trickster one mm. oh, the trickster. with the because <clears throat> with the the gauntlet of uh of traps or whatever they have to get, that you have to get through i i i can't i can never stand doing that one because mm. i always get murdered by the traps and then i think i can't remember if there's one in the pirate's life that's like that uh, or if it's the or if it's the section of the gold hoarders where you're in like the dark cavern, yeah, and you have to gold, yeah. you have oh, to traverse, just, yeah, yeah, you have to traverse across the uh, the um, the beams, yeah, and it's but... like pitch black and you can't see a thing. Jacko loved um... that one. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't he just? <laughs> what's what's Haley's um, video about that? To so get more information. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a home release yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be released. Yeah, even releases. It will be released very very soon. Probably a few videos after this one. But yes, please be sure to watch that video if you would like to see Jacko's reaction to the art of the trickster, because it's all oh, in there. Oh, Jacko just uh, raging. Or or even better. Don't give him too not... many spoil. Don't give him too many spoilers. No, if you're old enough, you can make a drinking game out of it. That's all I'm gonna say. I think... Careful. <laughs> Russell, sorry, we interrupted you. Please continue. No, it's fine. Uh, the other, I think, from the pirate's life, the the one that I really wasn't a big fan of was the uh, the sunken kingdom, and trying to figure out like the 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 siren statue puzzles mm -hmm. to raise and lower the water. Yeah, what I can't remember what number that was. I think that was, was number two. One. Yeah, it second was the third one. The second yeah, one. Yeah, that's. That's the one where you find um, all this, where you find Gibbs and all of them. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. And yeah, actually, yeah. the Black Pearl okay. that sunk. Yeah. yeah, Black Pearl one. Yeah, that was quite. Yeah. That was. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. I mean, it's. I mean, it, it's all right. This the, mm. you know, going through it, but just solving those puzzles the first time was was really annoying. Yeah. I think going through the Pirate's Life ones, bearing in mind I did them a long time ago now, so it's very difficult to remember them all. I did like the first one in that when you get the skeleton out of the cage, I like how you can like hold him, he talks to you. He gets a bit annoying mm. after a while, don't get me wrong. But I quite like that one, and I also quite like the last bit, but I do feel like they could do an additional one. 
even if it was just like I don't know another random bit that you could just add on the end <coughs> but I think also regarding tall tales we could if anybody has any suggestions what they would improve in certain tall tales or if there's anything you would add to any tall tales that you can think of um, if you haven't got anything it's fine but I just wondered if that was possible suggestion as well I'm just going to throw my hat in the ring first because this is something that's been talked a lot in the community the last couple of weeks, especially since the last adventure that we talked about in the first podcast. Yep. Um, BVE service for totals and adventures. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am with a hundred percent hundred percent agree with that. Most like Fallout said, I just take it to the thought of them. We have the feature of tele going to different places. Mm -hmm. And so on. Why don't we use that just to go to a BVE server and maybe they can do a bit of changes on the old totals, like maybe the sales for abilities can be less or mm. just not a lot of changes, just tidying it up a bit and make the uh, planes a bit easier. I would say the Legend Storyteller would be a hard one because they need to bring the whole map through because everything is drawn in. Like it is a story that's been told by a kid so there will be some tough things but i think if they do that uh, rage for the community is will be less and i think it's also way sea of thieves already advertises the game because it's a lot like hey this is adventures going to play our story stuff like pirate's life and so on and nothing is mentioned like hey it's, remember it's also a pirate game you can sink and there are three options when you go on to set sales. One is like go on a bench and so on. The second one is a pirate's life do all else and so even though those two are the same service, you just spawn in a different area. Yeah. Maybe make that second one just PvE based. You can't turn in any loot, you can't do any factions or any requ other quests and so on. It just be just a to load in for tour tales. Tell us. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't do anything else in there. Yeah. And I think it would be way easier to do the flag system because I think the flag system would be a way difficult thing to go in the game. I mean, I think I would agree in that if you're going to do a PVE server, I'd agree that you shouldn't be able to turn in any loot. If you're going to do a PVE server, it's purely for, for tour tales. Yeah. And then and the only at least you can't you sink. Get is, and the only loot that is. What you get is that is part of the details. Like yeah. if you do like the first nine, if you do it once, you get a certain item, which is a jacket, ship item, or like the wild rose, the compass. Yeah. It won't so work with gold harder. Flute... Sorry. It won't work with gold harder. Why? Because the skull you sell at the end. That's the point. And Sea of Thieves always want the. There's been many calls for like PV service for the Thor Tailors. And their solution was checkpoint. Yeah. I mean me and Haley had a had a course where we did one, we got rumbled by some people and all they wanted to do was sink it. Yeah. So all that we, we did one and we got one where we had our gem nicked as well. Can't remember what Tortail yeah. that was, but we had our gem nicked by another ship. Uh, I think that was mm. Uh, Whichever one you need two gems for, can't remember. Um, I agree that I agree in some ways with Fallout, but when it comes to the gold hoarder and selling the skull, I feel like well maybe once you've defeated them, it puts you, it kind of transitions you onto a normal service. You can then go and sell that skull because really that's the only tortel you can actually sell anything from. I think. Yeah, I the rest think of the time you just find it. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the new people don't know like. Um, about checkpoints and so on, they go in, they go into the tour tail, they think it's like, this game is stupid, and install, and never plays it again. Yeah. Like, Possibly. screw this game! Yeah. And this is what a lot of people does. Yeah. It's actually, I watched a couple weeks ago, a, U a YouTuber that's actually, you know, she just does it for a living, let's just give it to that. Yeah. Um, that's it. The main reason why a lot of people don't want to come is because that's, like, that's how they advertise. They come in, do a torte, and then they got sunk, and it's like, screw this game, I'm leaving. And a lot of his community members agree with it. So it's, I said, well, it's almost said, remove PvP servers completely. It's like, no, 
game would get boring and here's my steps and they said okay we agree with you on this and they instead of minds and so on and so forth so there's a lot of people that goes for that yeah yeah i think i think suggestion wise for rare pve servers would be a good idea but obviously with all the issues that are going on in the game at the moment without going into any detail on those because that could be a whole new podcast in itself um yeah. i feel like pve servers would work but they would have to put a lot of thought into how they were going to put them in or if they're not going to do servers, down. they should have an option where you can opt in for like just pve so you can't take damage you can't mm. do damage you can't pick up anything unless it's classed as a, a quest item and that's it yeah true that's the way around they could do it but then i feel like that would just add loads more stuff for rare to add to the game yeah, so. I would say just PVE service just for tall tales. Yeah. If you're going to do adventures and other stuff, sorry, it's yeah. normal service for you. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Because I feel yeah. like if you do PVE service for other stuff, a lot of people are going to use that, and the main servers will get boring as can be. It will mm. start be, to become Arena 2.0. Mm. But I'm going to nick a word that you've just said there. Adventures. There is a new adventure coming up. I am planning to do a podcast once we have done the new adventure. So at the time of filming this video, we have a few days until the adventure will come out. Um, so stay tuned for that podcast. But I'm sure I will drag the gang back in and we will have a podcast discussion on the new adventure. Hopefully it's better than the last one because the last one was a bit too short for my liking. But if you didn't Very see that fun. podcast, I'll make sure it's down below anyway. So. Okay. Main issues was uh, of the, <laughs> the spawn campers and so on of the previous one than anything else. Like yeah. that was the. But their issue problem. was you could have five ships in that server. Yeah. Doing that adventure and all then they reduced it, didn't they? Did they reduce it to two? Or? Yeah, they reduced yeah, it to two. two but yeah. I, I there was somebody in uh, that was in a certain streamer's chat that said, even with that chains, he got spawn camp, but he never got the chance to complete that adventure. Mm. Oh, that's so that, a shame. They're putting that. They're putting that change right near the end before it changed, before they finished. That yeah. was just pointless. But then, yeah. yeah, it should have gone in right at the start. In well, theory, close yeah. enough for the candle, Yeah, yeah. But he, but he said with that change, it still happened. Yeah, he never. Well, let's hope with the next order. one they learn from that mistake. Eh? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Did anybody want to say anything else about tall tales? Mm. Anything you can think of on the top of your head? I think that when it comes to the tall tales, that um, that they that they have a really good idea that they had a really good idea with it, but I think like one of the things like where you know there's like a dry spell in the game was after like the pirates life came out because it came out people were all excited they were all like oh oh my gosh you know pirates of the Caribbean based content this is so exciting and then they breeze through it in like ten hours. And then it's just like, <laughs> I didn't. All right, <laughs> now, now we're out. <clears throat> but, I think it took but, like, me like, yeah. But like, I think like when it comes to like tall tales and or like adventures or anything like that, like a lot of people have some issue with how they're like drip feeding the content. Mm -hmm. But I think when it even like when it came to the original tall tales, the original nine, the shores of gold, and the pirate's life, I feel like if they had dropped one like once a month or maybe like once every other month or something like that throughout the year or maybe um, that that that'd probably take a little too long maybe like once a month if they said okay over the course of a year we are going to drop a new tall tale and they do that for they did that if they did that for shores of gold and pirates life i think people would have been a bit more engaged with the game yep. and not just kind of like it's like, all right, I've gone through all this new content. There's really nothing else here for me to do other than just sail and, you know, gather loot and sell stuff or whatever. But I think that in the future, I think like what they're doing with adventures and if they decide that they want to come up with a new, like, Tall Tale series or something, that instead of just dropping it all at once, that if they kind of just drop it in increments... I think yeah. that'd be a little better. 
Huh? Mm. I actually have a question for you guys that just popped up. Can I very, I very, have... very quickly interrupt you, Jacko? Please excuse the fact that another another icon appeared on the screen. That was unintentionally. Um, but they have now re re uh, exited the room. So please ignore the fact another icon appeared on the screen. Carry on, Jacko. Um, I actually regret that I didn't listen to the last, or oh, I started listening and then completed the last um, CFP's podcast that they talked about hotels and so on. What do you guys think? Every month or each a new adventure or one year a uh, total? Hotels <laughs> like, like the pilot size, like five or six, um... like boom, here you go. I feel like Ray is trying to replace the hotels with adventures and uh, I don't think they're trying to replace <sighs> them, but I do think so obviously we what, the last adventure was a week ago, I'm gonna say. I don't even About know. Probably two weeks ago. Probably, Probably two, weeks ago. two weeks ago. Now we're getting the new adventure. It does feel a bit close to the last one, but at the same time you don't wanna go too long because everybody's gonna forget what happened in the last one. So I don't think the adventures are going to replace the tall tales, but I do wonder if they're going to consider putting more tall tales in further down the line to give people more things to do. I hope they do, to be honest. Because I mean, so many things. Go on. there's so many things in the tall tales that they could not necessarily improve on, but they could reuse some of the tall tale bits or elements, things like they could use, you know, the shells of gold, a bit like. They use the mask to transport us into the Sea of the Damned. You don't know who knows where where that's going because maybe they could be maybe they're doing more tall tales in the Sea of the Damned, or you know, so you can have like fixed instances, so you can do do that with maybe a team of your friends. You know, I I don't know yeah. where they're going with such things, but I'm hoping that they go that way. You know, where you can get like you know a team of you, whether it's with your friends or whether it's with other like random pirates and you can you know do just had small adventures with doing things in the sea of the damned even you know the thing that made pirate life so, so good was you had some set in a private server that was just story based law based added things to the sea, sea, sea of thieves and then you had others in the real world but they weren't in like local proximity all the time if you know what i mean they were you know, off to one side but so you wouldn't be too badly interacted with hmm. and the, there was accessible to all players you know not just you know the veterans you know, just, you know and i think they need to do that again but that, that's going to take time yeah and rare at the moment i have to stretch as it stands with all the other things we're not going to mention because we want them to improve them before we improve senior content yeah. but but they get round to it. if things don't get improved then maybe we will have a little podcast about the things that do need to be Sorted out yeah. in game. I'm sure we could get even a few more people in at that point as well. So, mm -hmm. oh, I've forgotten where my brain was going because of that slight distraction. <laughs> I did have something to say and I've forgotten it. No, nope, it's gone. <laughs> Whatever I wanted to say has gone. So, did Dead. anybody want to add anything else? No, no? Am so. I taking silence as everybody has given what input they would like to give tonight? I think so. I'm, I'm good. Sure, yeah. yeah? Okay, <coughs> in that case, I will say thank you very much to everybody that has tuned in tonight, including Andy, Fallout, Jacko, and Russell. I'm going to start doing dance moves next time I do that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining the podcast tonight. The next one will probably be in like... I don't know. A couple of weeks. You know what it's like. The last one was a month ago, I think. So we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, no idea what the topic will be on the next one. So feel free to stay tuned if you're watching us on YouTube. And we will see you all very, very soon. So thank you very much for listening and watching. Hello, it is Editing Beanie here. I was asked to actually add an additional bit to this conversation for the aftermath of the video. So Fallout has kindly asked me to pass on a few things that he forgot to mention about Tall Tales. He liked how they're always blended into the world and they don't stand out. They're quite masterpiece in the sense that they are really well detailed and everything about them blends in. The journals, items and objects all blend into the worlds, including obviously when you do a Tall Tale, the journals, you can only find them when you're doing the Tall Tale. 
and in some islands it's very difficult to actually spot them i've run past a few quite a few times and it's very difficult to spot them but fallout just asked me to mention those few things just at the end of this podcast and we will be back with another podcast very very soon thank you very much for watching i'll see you all soon bye